Hello and welcome back to the Calculator Review, hosted on Calquin.com. Today is day 12 of Calculatober. And today's calculator is the Canon Multi-8. Uh, right off the bat you can tell this is a pretty unique calculator. Uh, you got the amazing brushed aluminum plate or a face. Uh, really a standard button scheme. You got that um, turquoise blue. I'm not sure what kind of blue that actually is. But it's nice. And yeah, so you might notice that it has a much larger display than what you typically see of a calculator like this. And well, let's just turn it on and see what happens. So uh, here you can see that it has two displays. And up at the top currently the memory is displayed and then your st your calculation display. So uh, just to show how this works, um, 3.14 and then I'm going to add that to my memory, clear, and now I can recall that memory anytime I want. Or sorry, I added the memory, my bad. So 9 plus, alright, how do I get the memory? Okay. Plus. So that's kind of cool that it shows what's in the memory. Um, you can also switch it, you can change the mode on this to single where it leaves that display off completely, but the memory's still in there. But the most interesting one is when you set it to process. So let's do 9 plus 3 plus 5 plus 4. So what it's doing is storing the total up in the top so you can keep track of that while you do additional calculations below. Pretty neat feature and not something you typically see in a calculator. Um, Yeah. So this one runs on three AA batteries, which is kind of absurd. Uh, I forget what year this came out, but I believe this is an 80s calculator, just given how it looks. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely one of the more strange calculators I've seen, and definitely one of the more interesting ones I've ha I have in my collection because. Uh, as far as I know, no calculator with this kind of display, uh, aside from this one, exists. So this is pretty unique. So... So, uh, you actually do lose the memory when you switch over to process from memory. As Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Okay, now it should, yeah. So, I can still add this to the memory. Yeah. Neat. So overall, this is a pretty cool calculator. Um, it's really, really well built. I mean, this thing feels like a brick. And uh, this one in particular has clearly gone through some stuff. There's scratches all over it. And... It, it looks pretty beat up, but it still works just fine. Uh, unfortunately, because this is one of these types of calculators where the only way to get inside of it is to actually pry it open, that means that in order to get it open, I'm gonna have to, I would have to risk uh, breaking it. And I don't like doing that. I prefer just having screws that I can remove. It's a little unfortunate, but at least the batteries are easy to get to. Uh, yeah, so that's the Canon Multi-8. Um, aside from its neat uh, dual display feature, it's pretty bare bones as far as functionality goes. Um, the only thing that it has that not every single calculator ever has is a square root function. And yeah, that works fine. Oop. 
Uh, so one thing I do notice that's, that makes this a little risky to use is the clear button is very close to the clear memory, so uh, while you're using it, you'd have to be careful not to accidentally hit clear memory if you're actively utilizing that. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this one. Uh, I like it a lot. It's a neat one to have. The buttons are good. Um, I mean, nothing special going on with the buttons, but they work fine. I do think it's a little absurd that it runs on three triple or three double A batteries, but uh, considering that this is an 80s calculator, it can be forgiven for that. And yeah, that's all I've got. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Bye.